So I've been cooking up this project for, I don't know, a little while. I'm kind of thinking what to do with the other half of this uh, sawmill blade that I used yeah, last, you know, November, I think. I don't know. I made a big machete out of it. I'm like, I kind of want to make a sword with it. So it's just been kind of sitting in the back of my mind for a while. And then I saw, or more was re-watching some stuff. And I found a Kingfisher machete, which is basically like a machete sword. I think it's more just a sword than a machete personally, but hey, I'm not an expert. So I kind of sketched one up on the sawmill blade. It'll probably be a little thinner than that because you know, it's a sawmill blade, but I don't know. I think it's gonna be a fun little, uh, Fun little sword to play around with. Um, I'll probably cut this a little bigger, but you know, basic sketch out. I had to use paint marks. This is like dusty and rusted and sharpie didn't work for well, so I used paint marker. That actually seems to stay fairly well. So main thing to do though is when you're at least cutting out the blade or especially along like this edge here, you want to make sure you keep it cool and keep it uh, water on it so that way you know again it doesn't overheat because this is already heat treated and tempered and we don't want to ruin that. So keep that cool. The rest of it really isn't a big deal because, well, this is going to have to heat up anyway so I can drill holes for the handle and that's the only part I actually needs to hold an edge. So honestly, the rest of it probably doesn't have to, but along this line here and especially along like right here too, just uh, I might put a small bevel on the back of it, but you definitely want like the tip of it and stuff to still remain hard. So like this way through, you know, to about here maybe. And then you could want to keep that cool as well. So just uh, be careful while cutting and you should be fine. So yeah, I'm gonna take my air grinder and start cutting out, I guess.
Okay, so I have this cut out and currently sitting in my vise here, which is where I'm gonna take my air grinder and clean everything up, make it you know, nice and smooth. And then I'm gonna put some bevels on it, not in the air grinder. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. Then basically put some handle scales on it. I'm keeping this simple since it's supposed to be a simple, you know, build. So nothing too fancy, just uh, basically, you know, yeah. I'm just gonna start grinding and stop talking. Okay, so we're out here getting dark again. I really need to get some sort of like floodlights or something to where I can actually see when I'm filming when it's dark out. It's like eight o'clock. Anyway, so I have everything cut out, sanded, got a nice edge on it. It's not super sharp, but it's acceptable. I have a couple of uh, 3 16 holes drilled for these sort of scales. Uh, they looked a lot nicer and some stuff broke. I'm still gonna make it work because deadlines. So. I also kind of cut some small grooves here because it's going to be covered in JB Weld with the pins driven through it, also covered in JB Weld. So I'm going to do that real quick. Uh, I won't show that because it's super boring, but I'll get back to you when I get ready to start shaving the hand. 